Hi guys, it's Andy from Nismo Tech. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review on one of the latest mice from the guys over at Fanatic Gear. It's this one right here. It's the Clutch G1 Optical Mouse. It's the second mouse that they brought out uh, with the Fanatic Gear branding. Um, you may have heard of Fanatic. They are sort of pioneers within esports. Their teams um, are sort of known globally around the world. Very successful, uh, fantastic brand. And they've recently launched uh, a load of products to sort of go with uh, uh, their during sports team um, so this is the clutch g1 optical mouse it's pretty similar in fact it's virtually identical to the flick uh, the flick came in at uh, 90 grams however they've increased the, the weight on this one to 116 grams um, and the only other difference is that there's an additional button on top so you're not going to get any kind of bells and whistles in terms of multiple um, amounts of RGB around the mouse or anything like that um, it's going to be quite a basic simple mouse in terms of colouring options um, but you've got a lot of customization, a fantastic sensor, good switches um, and the build quality and comfort from this is going to be at the highest possible level um, so we're going to start by taking a, a look around the box so obviously you've got an image of uh, the mouse on top here, you've got sort of the, the Fnatic gear branding up there, um, a side profile of the mouse, um, and then coming on to the back, we have got some specification uh, and information. So I'm just going to read this out to you. Uh, so we've got customizable uh, plug and play on there, so en enable the onboard memory. Uh, so I say it's quite important to uh, professional players and, and those that are you know well into their gaming. Um, so you've got support through uh, player profile, custom buttons polling rates and LED colours so there is some LED on here which we'll be taking a look at uh, you've got the pro grade optical sensor so it's a Pixar 3310 optical sensor gonna be fantastic uh, ergonomic design it's got a soft rubber coating curvy shape ready for right-handed players perfect for claw grip or palm grip and it's built to be comfortable even during the longest of sessions uh, drag reduction 2 meter cord so even when you're pulling on it you're not going to get any drag so pretty good and pretty important uh, Fanatic trusted on there as well I've uh, got some more information down here so we've got Omron uh, switches on there the resolution can go up to 5000 dpi um, got a polling rate on there as well up to 1000 hertz and acceleration of 30g so um, with all that in mind like I said this is sort of pretty much targeted to those that want to emulate what the Fnatic team do um, and, and really crack on with their gaming um, and, and having the build quality um, and, and basically everything that they have uh, available to them. So we're going to go and take a look and find out what we get inside here. So first thing we'll get is a very quick user guide. Uh, so it's going to tell you about the buttons, where to download the software, um, talk to you about the scroll wheel, uh, profile level, CPI indicator or DPI indicator, uh, etc. So that's pretty good. Everything comes very nicely packaged. Ooh. So big block of foam in there to keep it all looking nice and safe. And there we have it. That is the mouse right there. So I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer and we're going to have a good look around. Okay, so let's have a closer look up at the top left hand side here. Uh, you can see that we've got the Fnatic Gear logo that's printed on. It's not light up or RGB or anything like that, and it is printed on there. Uh, we've got a couple of shoulder uh, thumb buttons on this side. These are customizable. Up at the top, we have got an RGB scroll wheel, so that's where the uh, sort of lighting is going to come from it. Apart from that, there's hardly any other lighting, in fact, if, if any at all. There might be a little bit in here, um, but we'll, we'll have a closer look at that in a short while. Um, we've got a couple of um, round profile switches here. So these, by default, actually change from profile, uh, or from profile to profile. They're not set to DPI, so you can go and change that, uh, but de by default, they will go through the profile. So we've got the Omron switches on here, um, up at the top, very long lasting, uh, high quality switches. On this side, nothing really to, to note, apart from the fact that you have got that clutch uh, printed uh, logo on there. Um, so the top is kind of like um, a soft matte rubberized finish. It's extremely comfortable to hold um, and feels very, very nice indeed. On the bottom, we've got a couple of rubberized feet, as you can see on there. And we've also got that Pixar 3310 uh, sensor right in the middle there as well, which is going to be really good, hopefully, uh, with, during gameplay. Well, 
obviously they use it so it's got to be fantastic um onto the cable we've got a two meter braided cable here that's um drag resistant and we've got a gold plated usb cable on there as well um but like i said in terms of its comfort i mean it, it is actually quite tall um so with with the mouse being sort of higher up it's, it's definitely a lot easier for you if you're doing that claw, claw grip um and, and whatever type of grip you, you're basically using it's going to be extremely comfortable um and it's certainly um sort of supporting my hand very very nicely and i'm able to to grip the bottom of the mouse and obviously it's slightly heavier than most mice on the market 116 gram um but personally i quite like a heavy mouse i'm not into the light ones so for me this might be uh might be the one that i stick with for for quite some period of time um but yes it feels fantastic and there's actually kind of like a, a slight curve from there to there um and if you look at the scroll wheel um hopefully i can bring that in let me just move the camera up a little bit there um, you can see that the, cat, the the scroll wheel kind of leans a little bit to the left hand side of the bottom there hopefully that comes across certainly when I'm looking at it with my eyes um, and when I'm using the mouse it does kind of go over to that one side which is a little bit strange um, but so far um, I've not really noticed too much of an issue um, the scroll wheel is kind of quite loose I mean I'm not clicking down on it but you can see it's definitely moving around there so uh, again that may be some people's cup, cup of tea but for me I like quite a strong uh, scroll wheel so you've got a click button in there as well um, but certainly doesn't affect the uh, scrolling of the mouse so I'm going to go and fire up the software and we're going to go and have a look at that LED that's in there the RGB lighting um, and talk to you about the software Okay, so now we're going to be taking a look at the software and up at the top here you can see that we've got a couple of different profile options, uh, one, two and three. And as mentioned on the mouse, you have got the buttons up at the top here that will change that profile setting. Um, so I'm just going to go and press the down button and see that we've got a white LED that is showing to indicate that that is on profile one, profile two and profile three. Um, now the other thing to note is that obviously that by default there is no DPI setting. So what I've done the shoulder mouse buttons, um, I've gone to change that when I'm in profile two. So I'm just going to go and apply that a moment. You see it's starting to, to dance around and, and do various different things. So you can see that we've got on the highest uh, level three on the CPI setting, and then we've got level two and also level one um, so i may change them around not too sure or depend how i feel during gaming um, so anyway back on to uh, the software you've got the cpi settings here uh, and you've got uh, separated x and y axes but obviously you can go in and adjust that uh, to whatever you feel that you may need uh, in terms of a cpi or, or dpi setting uh, you've got pointer sensitivity on here now uh, i've been using it with uh, around about eight on there at the moment um, that's a global setting scroll speed again uh, double click speed etc and scroll by page the polling rate how fast it communicates with the computer uh, so set to a thousand hertz and uh, you've got restore default now one thing to mention as well is that with this mouse um, it's got onboard memory so everything that you do on here uh, and as soon as you click on apply that will then save the settings to the mouse the software is only used um, to basically adjust the settings that you may need nothing is actually stored on the computer it's all stored on the mouse so you have got an option to click back up so you can save various different profiles uh, different games for example uh, to like a USB stick and you can also bring it in via the restore option uh, so you have got that option on op sorry that option on there for you um, up at the top uh, we've got the basic settings we've got the button assignment uh, so again you can go and sort of change these if you do wish to uh, you've got the mouse options so scroll double click triple click continuous click the fanatic gear so you've got the cpi cycle profile cycle push to talk uh, any macros that you may have done uh, multimedia office windows and you can also disable it in terms of the color settings now you can see you'll see that we have got the um leds up on the side here but you've also got an led option um within the scroll wheel and you can see that it's going uh, on orange there at the moment so you have got an option to do a color cycle um so i'm just going to go and speed this up so it'll cycle through 
the colours very, very quickly. Uh, so you see, once you've started to save things, it kind of goes a little bit ballistic in terms of the colours, and then it will uh, kick into life. So you see it's starting to go through uh, all of the colours there, if I just bring that in. Obviously the uh, camera is never going to pick up how good the colours are, but that is seriously moving through that RGB spectrum. Uh, so we'll just turn colour cycle off um, and apply that a moment. I'll have a little, it's a little dance. Um, so I'm just going to go and set that to green. There we go. So it's actually set to heartbeat as well. So I'm just going to do a uh, pulsate on there. So you see it's starting to pulse. Uh, we'll go and pick another colour blue. Uh, you've also got an option to, to control the saturate, saturation on there as well. So we'll just see what that kind of looks like. So you see it's not really kind of blue. It's starting to go a little bit white. Um, but it kind of makes it go kind of purpley uh, when you move that. So we'll just change that. Uh, and we'll do a blink on there as well. There we go. Um, and obviously you've got fade in and fade out. So we'll just go and click on that as well. Slightly different colour, a little bit red on there. So it actually looks very good. Um, I like the fact that that is the only area that, that is customisable in terms of the RGB. And these little lights for here really are obviously going to be covered up by your hand. Um, so yeah, really impressed with that. Um, moving back onto the software, you have got the macro recorder. Uh, so you can go in and record a uh, new macro and press various different buttons and record your macro, etc. And save that into the library uh, if you do want to do that. And then obviously go and assign that if you wish. Uh, you've got start on boot, so that basically loads the software to start with. And when you click restore default, you can do it to all the settings or just this tab, which basically means this profile. So now that we've done uh, the software, I'm going to go and enjoy some further game time uh, with the Fnatic Clutch G1. Okay, so let's now give you my thoughts on the Clutch G1 from Fnatic Gear. This little one right here. Um, gotta say, absolutely fantastic quality mouse. Um, you've got a, a really good uh, Pixar sensor in there. You've got the Omron switches on top as well. Um, and combine them two together and you've probably got the best hardware that you can get inside a mouse. Uh, the fact that you've got hardly any kind of lighting to distract you, uh, apart from the scroll wheel, which your finger is going to be on anyway, um, it is really good as well because at the end of the day if you're playing games and you, and you want to be sort of competitive and you want to be serious about it you don't want lights flashing around the room or anything like that so I like the fact that there is very minimal uh, in that respect um, a couple of people that I've shown the mouse to have said well there's no grip there for, for where your thumb goes or anything like that you don't actually need it it with the way that the mouse is because it's actually quite heavy and because of, because of the coating that's actually on here the soft rubberized coating um, it actually does hold very well um, and is very very comfortable I mean it fits in in my hand very very nicely really really nice so um, braided cable really good uh, the software as well actually to, to be fair the software is, is a really good design very easy to use um, and the fact obviously everything is stored on the mouse rather than on the PC means that when you go and take it from PC to PC uh, you've, you've already got your settings and your macros there and obviously you can back them up uh, to a USB stick if you want to as well um, but yeah just just overall with, with the, the sort of internal parts the on on switches the sensor um, lack of RGB I, I just think it's a bloody decent mouse especially if you are looking to uh, improve your game um, a lot of people say that a mouse doesn't really improve how good you are in gaming I would probably beg to differ um, this mouse certainly helped uh, me improve a little bit a little tiny bit um, so yeah I would highly recommend this mouse uh, for any of you especially with the price that's coming in the fact that you're getting all these uh, little bits uh, as part of the price 
um, I think it's an exceptional value for money. So I hope you enjoyed the, the review. Uh, there will be links down below to where you can go and find out more about this mouse and um, pricing and availability. And it will also be available on nismotech.com uh, with further information as well. So if you did like the video, please do leave a like and a comment. And don't forget to share the video. That would be really appreciated. And I look forward to seeing you in my next one.